Radiation is the third mode of heat transfer. In uh, radiation, we are concerned with heat transfer between two surfaces, uh, where one surface is at a temperature, let's say, uh, higher than the other. Imagine uh, your oven in the kitchen. If you are roasting potatoes in the oven, then the radiation heat transfer between the wall of the oven and the potatoes is mostly due to radiation. Also, um, although there will be some heat transfer due to convection mode also. For radiation heat transfer, you do not need any physical medium between two surfaces. Well, that is how we get our thermal energy from the sun. Uh, note that there is the space between the sun and earth uh, is mostly devoid of anything. A mathematical expression to determine radiative heat transfer was proposed by two scientists and the equation is called Stefan Boltzmann equation. rate of heat transfer between two surfaces is proportional to the area of the surfaces, the radiative characteristics of the surfaces, and we will use a symbol epsilon, it's a Greek symbol, epsilon, and the difference between the temperatures of those two surfaces. However, we will be using uh, each temperature raised to power 4. So we say T24 minus T1 raised to power 4. And another important thing here is that those temperatures are in absolute scale. So in other words, these are not Celsius, but absolute. Uh, we will bring in our sign for equation uh, so we can write Q equals, and we will need to introduce a constant which we will call sigma, uh, again a Greek letter, sigma, and so we have sigma times A times epsilon T2 raised to power 4 minus T1 raised to power 4. So this equation is called the Stefan Boltzmann equation, and the constant sigma, called the Stefan Boltzmann constant, has a value of 5.669 into 10 raised to power minus 8 watts per square meter Kelvin raised to power 4. And remember, Kelvin is the absolute temperature. Area A is in square meters. Now, epsilon is the emissivity, a radiative property of the surface. Uh, it does not have any units. And again, T1 is the temperature of one surface in absolute, and it will be in Kelvin. And similarly, T2 is the temperature of the other surface, again in absolute, and uh, this will be also in Kelvin. So, one thing to be careful when you're using this equation, make sure that if you are given the temperatures of these two surfaces in Celsius that you first convert them into Kelvin. And you do that, of course, is by taking a temperature in degree C and adding 273 into it, and that will give you the temperature in Kelvin. And also, in whenever you are using this expression, do not overlook the raised to power 4 uh, for both the temperature uh, T2 as well as for T1. And uh, so if you substitute all these units in this equation, you will find that the uh, rate of heat transfer Q will be in watts. This uh, concludes our overview of the three modes of heat transfer. Again, in um, other modules, we will be discussing uh, each of these modes of heat transfer in much more detail and certainly we will talk more about radiation 
uh, in a separate module.